fundamental to all navigation is the ability to measure angles. For this, man in space uses a sextant, a device he's been using for over 200 years. With this instrument, the astronaut measures precisely the angle between a planet and a known star. This is recorded along with the exact time of the sighting. This angle defines a cone of position because the angle between the planet and the star could have been sighted from any point on the surface of that cone. But one sighting will not tell him where. The astronaut does know he is near his desired trajectory. His approximate speed, elapsed time, and limits of possible error locate him within a football-shaped volume which navigators call the estimated ellipsoid of position. The space where this ellipsoid intersects the cone establishes his position more closely in an area where the two coincide. From this, he knows about how far he is from his desired trajectory. Repeated sightings will be made to reduce the amount of uncertainty until the actual trajectory is determined within the allowable limits. If it does not coincide with the desired one, the astronaut must perform a mid-course correction to put his craft on a corrected trajectory. A more precise method for determining position uses three sightings from separate known bodies. The three cone-shaped surfaces intersect and establish a point of position.